Welcome to this presentation on creating threaded holes in metal, also called tapping. There's a wide range of tap sizes. For this particular demonstration, we'll be using a quarter 20 tap. This tap corresponds to quarter 20 bolts. I've got both a round and a flat head bolt here. We'll be tapping the metal that you see on your right, and the first step is to drill a clearance hole. The diameter of this hole is critical. If it's too small, there will be a lot of resistance when you're tapping and the tap can shear. If it's too large, the tap will rock around and the threads won't be continuous. There's a chart in the furniture studio that will tell you the exact diameter of drill bit you need for any given tap. I'm going to drill the clearance hole on the drill press. It's much easier to use the drill press when drilling metal than drilling with a hand driver drill. It also ensures that the hole is 90 degrees to the top surface. I've inserted the drill bit into the chuck hand tightened and I'm now using the chuck key located on the side of the machine to further tighten it and ensure the bit doesn't slip. The metal's clamped in place and I'm making sure that the drill bit is aligned with the spot where I want to drill the hole. I've turned on the drill press and only when it's turned on can I adjust the speed. When drilling metal we want to slow the speed down and also use a cutting oil to reduce heat buildup. You'll notice that as I drill I'm not trying to go through the piece of metal all in one go. I'm drilling down and then bringing the bit up again this helps to clear the metal chips and again reduce heat buildup. I'm going to continue drilling until I've gone through the entire piece of metal into my backup board. Now I'm going to create the threads on the inside of the clearance hole. I'm putting the squared off end of the tap into the tapping tool and tightening the chuck. I'll be using the same cutting oil to lubricate this tapping process as well and just a small drop will do. The hardest part of tapping is getting it started. You need to keep the tool 90 degrees to the surface of the metal. Gently start turning the tap until you feel it locate within the hole and start to draw itself down. You may need to back it out and get rid of a first few initial metal chips with some compressed air. Once you feel that the tap has located and is starting to turn itself down into the hole, you'll need to make short turns forward followed by short turns backwards. You're going to have to gauge for yourself how far to go. With small taps, you can easily break them if there's too much resistance. So push forward until you feel that the resistance is perhaps a bit too much, then rotate back to release the metal chip. If you're not releasing the metal chips as you go along, they'll build up and create too much resistance. Once you get through the piece of metal, you'll find that the tap easily rotates both forwards and backwards. When you've backed the tap out, take the compressed air again and blow the hole out to make sure any metal chips don't remain. And now you can see that a quarter 20 volt threads quite nicely through this hole. So this is one way we can connect metal to metal or other materials to metal with a threaded bolt. And that's it for tapping.